Hey there, hola como estas, friends and amigos from all over the world. It's your man, the one and only globe master, Yao Fusu. Today, I have a short letter from a brother named Charlie Benson from Canada. Canada. Toronto, Canada. He said, what's up, good brother, Fosu? Well, thank you for calling me a good brother. <laughs> he said, Charlie here from Toronto. Big up, big bro. I'm 34 years old and joining the overseas club. Welcome. It wasn't easy obtaining a passport here in Canada. Wow, really? It's like they don't want us here, but they don't want us to leave either. <laughs> Yo, that's the realest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> You're right about that. It's like over here too. It's like they don't want us here, but they don't want us to leave neither. I, I get what you're saying. The West is a trap for brothers in Canada or US. Yo, I think this this brother here, what's his name? Benson? Charlie? I'm liking you already. He said, I saw your video about the Philippines and I'm very interested. Bro, give me some guidelines or the do's and don'ts for first time is there. I'm about to head over there soon. It's really nice having something to look forward to. It's really nice having something to look forward to. I think I'm going to make that the title. I like that. And I, and I totally get that. Wow. So my brother, Charlie, wants the do's and don'ts. Okay. Let me see what I can come up with. Brother Charlie from Toronto, Canada. Hope you don't look like Drake because Drake is getting cooked these days, man. <laughs> anyway, that, that got nothing to do with my video. So. <laughs> my boy Drake is catching it from Kendrick, man. Anyway, do's and don'ts about the Philippines. Bro, I think you came to the right place. I have been to the Philippines several times. Of course, my woman is from there. And from experience, I can give you the best I got. All right? Now, let's start with the Let's start with the don'ts. The don'ts. Things you shouldn't do for a first timer in the Philippines, right? Now, what I'm about to say here, it's not just for the Philippines. If you're traveling anywhere in the world, these are some guidelines any human being with common sense should follow when you are out of your own elements and you go to another country, right? The first thing that I'm, I, I could talk about is don't be disrespectful or arrogant. Okay? Now, you were, how old you say you was? 34 years old. Now, 34, I know you, you're going there for play. Okay? That's just, it's just a fact. It's no 34 year old trying to find a wife right now. You're going there to, you know, for pay for play or, or look for some action and it's completely okay. All right, if that's what you're going there for, you will find it. I'll give you my blessing on that, but just be careful. All right? Respect is the number one thing. When dealing with Filipinos or any other people in the world. Don't be arrogant. Okay? If, especially if you're going 
going there for females. Just about a month ago, you could you could search this on YouTube or whatever you find it. Some white guy got deleted in the Philippines by some Filipino rapper or whatever. And I saw the video. Basically, what happened was um, he approached some girls and um, look, as friendly as Filipinos are, if you disrespect them, they could turn from the nicest people into freaking Manny Pacquiao real quick. Real, real quick. Split second, they will turn from from the nicest people to Manny Pacquiao on Shabu. And I've seen this personally. You don't want to see Filipinos when they are pissed off, man. I've, you know, sometimes, you know, I've seen some white guys or foreigners from other countries go to the Philippines and they try to like, because you know, they have bigger structure than the Filip Filipino men. They try to like, you know, bully them or just be disrespectful, arrogant. You could, you, could, you could lose your life that way in the Philippines. Believe me, that happened to that guy I'm talking about. I'm not gonna go too much into that detail, but if you want for yourself, you could search it out and you, you'll find out what I'm talking about. Disrespect is one thing you should never do in any any country, not just the Philippines. All right. What else can I say about? Mm, Philippines. Another don't. Don't break the law. <laughs> do not break the law anywhere you go in the world. Outside of your element, outside of your country, do not freaking break the law. It's very simple, common sense. I don't know why a lot of people don't get that. Okay? Do not break the law. Before you go do research on the do's and don'ts of any country you go to, that's what I do when I'm about to travel to a country I've never been to before. Do research and you'll find out. Don't break the freaking law. The last thing you want anywhere in the world is to get locked up in another country. You don't want that. Be respectful. Don't break the law. What else can I tell you? Oh, this here is something that um you should learn. Especially if you are, uh, if your first stop is going to be in Manila, I don't know if if, it's, if that's where you're going, or maybe you're going to Cebu, or you, you could be going to Dumaguete, because you didn't specify where you're going. You could be going to Dumaguete, or or one of those, any place, Davao, anywhere in the Philippines. There's poverty in the Philippines. Now, I'm not going to say the entire country is, you know, it's like that. Maybe about, my estimate about maybe 30, 40% are people that are struggling in life. Sometimes you may see people asking you for money, especially children. I remember the first time, the first time I went to the Philippines with my wife, I saw this little girl pretty much panhandling, asking me for money. And I was about to get into my pockets to give money to her. My wife was like, nope, you don't do that here. And I'm like, why? Listen, this is what my wife told me. And I'm going to tell you the same thing. Do not do not hand money into underage girls. You could get yourself in trouble over there for that. Okay? An asshole police officer can literally detain you and waste your time and you're gonna end up spending a bunch of money to get yourself from that, all right? So don't do it. Instead, if, if, if a minor is asking you for money, ask them, you want some food? I'll buy you food, that's what I do. I do not give money 
to beggars anymore. I'll buy them food instead, not to get yourself in trouble. All right? That's that's the three don'ts I can give you. The do's, the Philippines, it's a wonderful country. There's so much you can do to have fun. Okay? You will have a ball if the Philippines is your first destination. One, a few things I could tell you to do is um, number one, in the Philippines, cash, cash money is king. Personally, I don't trust ATMs and whatever over there. So make sure you carry cash. All right? What else can I tell you to do? The do's, um, yeah. Be polite and respect, respectful, especially if you want to approach women. Being polite and respectful will take you a long way. What else can I say? Um, well, you know, 34, I know you're going there to smash. But don't be a whore about it, man. You know what I'm saying? If you stay in the hotel, don't be bringing two women every day into the, the same hotel. You, you're going to look, it's not a good look. Don't do that to yourself, right? That's pretty much what, what, all, all that I can say to you. Listen, do some research before you go. Whatever city you're going to, watch a bunch of videos about the city and everything is gonna be cool. All right, brother? That's all I got for you. Name's Yalfusu. I'm stuck in traffic. I'm about to get annoyed. So I'm, I'm gonna end it here. God bless, take care of yourself, and cheesy yeah.